UFC 262, Oliveira versus Chandler took place Saturday, May 15th at the Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. There will be a new champion crowned in the main event when we see lightweight contenders Charles Oliveira and Michael Chandler go to battle for the vacant championship. Let's talk Chandler versus Oliveira. The new kid on the block and the number four ranked UFC lightweight contender, Michael Chandler, 22 and five, fighting out of Deerfield Beach, Florida, will attempt to accomplish a main goal of achieving UFC goal. Chandler is an explosive athlete that has high level wrestling and powerful striking. He is a well conditioned athlete and tonight looking for the biggest win of his career. But on the other side of the octagon, you have the submission ace and number three ranked UFC lightweight contender, Charles de Bronx Oliveira, 30 and eight, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, and then tends to make the most of his first shot at the title by delivering another record setting performance. Oliveira has mostly been known for his world-class submission game, but over the years, he has made incredible improvements in all areas of his game to complement those world-class ground skills and every fight he continues to grow. Tonight's betting odds has Oliveira coming in as a minus 135 favorite and Chandler comes in at a plus 115 underdog. And here's how it went down. Both fighters came out aggressively. Oliveira came out throwing a series of leg kicks and landed a low calf kick that almost knocked Chandler off his feet, but Chandler was back up to his feet and ready to go. There was no filling out process. Chandler landed a hard punch on Oliveira and Oliveira shot a double leg takedown, but Chandler immediately sunk in a guillotine. After a scramble, Oliveira took Chandler's back, but Chandler escaped and was back to his feet. Later in the round, Chandler started to find the chin of Oliveira, landing several shots, putting Oliveira to the ground. The second round started. Both fighters came out throwing punches. Oliveira lands a vicious left hook that rocked Chandler against the cage. Charles Oliveira defeats Michael Chandler by TKO of 19 seconds of round two to become the UFC lightweight champion and also earned a $75,000 performance of the night bonus. And here's my final thoughts. There was a lot of questions coming into this fight for obvious reasons and we always wonder if the stage is too big for fighters at this level. But both fighters came out and showed the world just how world class they are. But the most important thing we saw was Oliveira overcoming being seriously hurt and then we watched him turn into Superman, make adjustments and come into the second round like a completely different fighter. Tonight Oliveira showed the heart of a champion and all great champions need that defining moment in their career to make them truly great and tonight was an incredible time to shine. Oliveira has spent a long 27 fight journey to this title shot and when it was time to shine he showed the world who the best lightweight in the world is. Oliveira always shows so much respect for his opponents and he is a truly a classy champion and I can't wait to see him fight again. Here are some quick stats on Oliveira. He was the UFC number three ranked lightweight contender. That will change. He has 19 wins by submission, nine via KO. He has the most submissions in UFC history at 14. He is on a nine fight win streak. He holds wins over Tony Ferguson, Kevin Lee, Jim Miller, and now Michael Chandler. Okay, what's next for Oliveira? At the post-fight press conference, UFC press Dana White said he had no clue who will be next for Oliveira. So, you have a lot of interesting scenarios in the lightweight division. You have the number one Poirier fighting the number six McGregor, and if Poirier wins, he is likely the next shot versus Oliveira. But let's not forget you have the dangerous number two Gaethje waiting impatiently. Chandler was number four and Ferguson was number five who both lost tonight. So a fun scenario would be if Connor wins convincingly, maybe he leapfrogs for the title shot. This could get interesting quick. There's a murder's row at lightweight and I say let's see what happens with Poirier McGregor to see who's next or Gaethje is always a fun fight. Guys, let me know what you thought of Oliveira's performance tonight and who you think he should fight next. Just want to give a big shout out to our fans. Guys, don't forget to smash that like button. This is Jake Hatton with MMA Weekly's The Lowdown Breakdown. See you next time.